Okay, a lot of guys are wondering how to get the Striker 655, 955 software working. Um, first, you have to go over to Striker's website here. Okay. And here's the software for the radios right here. But before you do that, you have to download the pro prolific drivers. If you don't install the prolific drivers first, you're probably not going to get the software to work. I would go to this link here. Additional help can be found at, and it's a driver's PHP link, because this one is an outdated link up here. Sean's going to fix that over at Striker. So when you click on this link, it brings you up to this here, cables and drivers. All right. What you want to do is go down here. If you're running Windows XP, it's here. Um, Mac OS, it's here. This is the one you want right here, 3200EXE, Prolific Drivers. You go ahead and download that. Then once you install the Prolific Drivers, you then download the software and install the software for your radio, 655, 955, 447, whatever. Download, install the Prolific Drivers, restart the PC, install the software, okay, and then... Before you even get your, you hook your radio up, power your radio up, put the cable in, put the cable into the PC, and then you go to Device Manager, okay, and under Device Manager, when your radio is hooked up, you got to go to your COM ports over here, okay, and in your COM ports, it'll show you which COM port and stuff like that, that your radio is actually hooked to. So right now I have COM1, COM6, and COM8. When I hook the radio to it, it'll show on like COM3. Once you find out what COM port it is on, you go ahead and open up the software. Okay, now I don't have a radio hooked up now, so it's not going to work. Once you know the COM port is on, say, 3, you will go to Setup, COM port, and you will pick the COM port from here. And that's where a lot of guys get mistaken. They don't have the prolific drivers in and they're not picking the COM port because they have no idea. So you have to go in Device Manager and under Ports and COM, it will show you what port your radio is hooked up to. So you have to hook the radio up first, turn it on, plug the USB cable into the computer, and it will show PC. So in your software, you pick the COM port here and then you click on OK. Then you go to radio, read from radio. It will read things from the radio, read all the settings. And then you will see on the um, striker, it will say then PC. Where you're going to make a lot of your changes is going to be in the second tab here, options and features. Okay, in here is where you're going to change the timeout, the clarifier setting. If you want to receive, receive and transmit, you're going to change your squelch settings. You're going to change the model name. You're going to change everything. This is how you also add your name to the radio. You put your name in here, and then you go under LCD display. You could pick battery voltage, model name, or model name and voltage. So if you put your name there as Johnny, and you just want it to always say Johnny, you leave it on model name. Okay. If you want it to show just the voltage and no name, you leave battery voltage. If you want it to go between them every couple seconds, you do the battery name and volt the model name and battery voltage here. So you can have it show your 14.3 and then it'll switch to whatever name you put in here. So once you go ahead and you change all the stuff you want in here, okay, then you go program right to radio. If you want to just save those settings, you go in here and you change things, okay, you change things, you can always go to File, Save As, and you can save this now as a file. It will save it as a .fre file. You can save that file for future strikers. So, like, when I do striker radios here, I always set the background color to green on the 955, 655, and I go in here when I add the guy's names, so I have a default file that I open up. Okay, I have one for the 655, one for the 955. So I have all these things tailored to what I like, and I already have it set to model name and battery voltage. All I do is put the customer's name in here that they request, and then I go program right to radio. That's it. When I get the next radio in, I actually bring the software up. I go to file open, 
I pick the file that I already have saved. And then I just modify the name and I write it to the radio. So that is how you get the striker software going. I'm not going to get into playing with the Roger beeps or anything like that. There's already plenty of videos. I have a video on there about that. But this is just how to get the striker software working. First thing you have to get is that prolific driver. You've got to get the prolific driver in first. Okay. Restart the machine. Once the prolific driver is in, then you can download the software for your PC. Once you get the software for your PC installed, hook the radio up. Hook it up to the USB, turn it on, and then go to your device manager, okay, like we showed you, and device manager, and go up under ports and com, and once the radio is in there, it will list here and it will show you which com port. Then you go back into the software, and you go to setup, com port, and you pick the com port for the drop down that matches your radio, click OK, and then read from radio over here, okay, then program read from radio. Okay, and it will ask you this, and then it will show radio is in PC mode, and it will start bringing the data in. And then most of your changes, it's just to a recap, will be in a second tab. That's where you're going to do most of your changes, okay? Also, your Roger Beep setup um, is right here. That's another tab you can get into, which we've already covered. And um, that's pretty much it. So that's how you get the Striker software working.